So once you've completed your ergonomic factors template, you're going to want to save it. I'm going to make a little change so we can see it taking effect in the package. I'm going to say type of stress up here. So I'm just changing the text here. And down here, you say percent of video clip. Let's just make a couple of little changes here and then I'm going to save it. So I do a file and I do save as. Now be sure and save it as an Excel micro enabled template. That's important. That's the way that's going to work for all your users. So it has to be saved as an Excel micro enabled template, XLTM. The default name is Ergo Factors XLTM. You could actually give it another name if you want to create multiple variations, perhaps for different languages you might do that. But right now we're going to keep it the same name and be sure and put it into the Applied Computer Services templates. In other words, it has to go back into the same place it came from. We're expecting it to be in templates. If you put it anywhere else, we will not be able to pick it up and use it automatically in the package. And then we're going to do a save here. It'll tell me it already exists. Do you want to replace it? Say yes. So again, the important thing is to do a file, save as, and be sure it's saved as an Excel micro-enabled template, an XLTM. Give it another name, but I recommend just using it the same name and putting it into Applied Computer Services Templates folder and overwrite the existing file.